In this session, we will discuss various properties of context-free languages. We will prove that context-free languages are closed under union, concatenation and clean closure. Let's start the session. So first we will prove that context-free languages are closed under union. First we will consider an example let, let L1 is odd palindrome over A and B, L2 is even palindrome, sigma is A and B in both cases. So we can able to design grammar for L1 that is S will give you A S A B S B or middle symbol can be A or B. For L2 we can able to design the grammar S will give you A S A B S B or null. Now we will add a subscript 1 to non terminal of L1 that is S1 S1 subscript 2 to non terminal of L2 S2 S2 and if you will add a rule S will give you S1 or S2 where S1 can be generated from this one and S2 can be generated from these non terminal. So we had designed a grammar context free grammar for L1 union L2 and this grammar represents the grammar of palindrome. Now we will prove that context free language are closed under union operation. So given L1 and L2 are two context free languages. So we can able to design context free grammar for L1. Let's call it as G1. We can able to design context free grammar for L2. Let's call it as G2. If we will add a subscript 1 to non terminal of G1 and add a subscript 2 to non terminal of G2 and if we will add a rule S will give you S1 or S2 we can able to design context free grammar for L1 union L2. So we had designed context free grammar for language L. So we can say context free language are closed under union operation. Now we want to prove that context free language are closed under concatenation. So first we will consider one example of concatenation. Let's suppose L1 is A and B n, n is greater than or equal to 0, L2 is C m D m, m is greater than or equal to 0. So we can able to design grammar for L1 that is S will give you A S B or null. Similarly, we can able to design context free grammar for L2 that is S will give you C S D or null. If we will add subscript 1 to non terminal of L1, we will get S1 will give you A S1 B or null. Similarly, we will add subscript 2 to non terminal of L2. So we will get S2 will give you C S2 D. We can able to observe that L will give you L1 L2 which will be equal to A N B N C M D M n and m can be greater than or equal to 0. If we will add a production rule s will give you s1 s2 and s1 can be generated from these production rules and s2 can be generated from these production rule. So we can able to generate the language l. Now we will prove that context free languages are closed under concatenation. So given l1 and l2 are two context free languages. So we will design context free grammar for L1. Let's call it as G1. We will design context free grammar for L2. Let's call it as G2. We will add a subscript 1 to non terminal of G1 and we will add a subscript to all non terminal of G2. If we will add a production rule S will give you S1 S2 where S1 is the starting non terminal of G1 and S2 is starting non terminal of G2 we can able to design grammar for L1 concatenation L2 and that is a context free grammar. So we can say that context free languages are closed under concatenation operation. Now we want to prove that context free languages are closed under clean closure operation. So first we will discuss with the help of one example let's suppose L1 is odd palindrome. So we can able to design a grammar G1 that is S will give you A S A B S B A or B. 
If we will add a subscript 1 to each known terminal, we will get grammar G1. And if we will add the production rule, S will give you S, S1 or null. So we will get the production rules for clean closure of L1. Now we will prove that context free language are closed under clean closure. Consider L1 be a context free language. We can able to design a grammar G1 that is context free grammar for L1. Add a subscript 1 to each known terminal of G1. And if we will add the production rule S will give you S, S1 or null. We can able to design context free grammar for L1 star. If we can able to design context free grammar for any language, we can say that language is context free language. So we can say context free languages are closed under clean closure operation. In the next session, we will discuss whether context free languages are closed or not under complement and intersection operation. Thanks for watching this session.